Tim Burton and Johnny Depp teaming up once again. Let's just hope this is better than the last time they teamed up. Ugh. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Film Review, episode number 71, and the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows is directed by Tim Burton, whose previous films include Beetlejuice, Batman, Edward Scissorhands, Ed Wood, and Sweeney Todd, and it stars Johnny Depp, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eva Green, Chloe Moretz, Helena Bottom Carter, and Jackie Earl Haley. Now, the film centers around Barnabas Collins, a man who is cursed to be a vampire by a witch whom he had scorned. And he comes back to life in the year 1972, where he finds his family struggling in the canned fish industry in Maine. So Barnabas decides to help him out while dealing with the witch who cursed him all those years ago. Tim Burton in the past decade or so has been relatively hit or miss, so how does Dark Shadows stack up? Well, it's pretty good. The performances from this cast are good. Johnny Depp brings another eccentric character to life with Barnabas Collins, and he's very good in the movie. Depp plays off the sincerity and fish-out-of-water humor very well here, and his line readings definitely make the humor really work. Ava Green also does a great job here as Angelique, the witch who torments Barnabas. I mean, she's very seductive and manipulative, and it's really fun to watch her just torment all of those around her. And the rest of the cast, everybody else gives a very solid performance as well. I think Tim Burton's direction here is quite good too. I mean, the production design and the cinematography are actually really good, and they reminded me of a classic Tim Burton film like Beetlejuice. And I would say in general, Dark Shadows is closer in quality to something like that than, say, Planet of the Apes, which we'll never mention again. The film is also delicately balanced between being funny and serious, and it never really feels jarring in a way when tones shift. But all that being said, I did have a couple issues with Dark Shadows. There are a few parts where the film drags a lot. I mean, it's never really boring, but there were definitely a few scenes here and there that I could totally cut from the film and I wouldn't really be missing anything. Also, some of the plot twists in this movie are either really predictable or they're not really fully properly explained. I obviously, I'm not going to spoil any of them for you here, but whenever you do see this film, you'll know exactly which ones I'm talking about because I feel like some of the characters and the twists aren't really as developed as they could be. Ultimately, I'm going to give Dark Shadows a B. It's one of the better movies of Tim Burton's in the past decade. It's not terribly memorable, but it's pretty enjoyable nonetheless. So that's it for this review. My next review will be up on Friday when I bring you guys an early review of Battleship, the new summer blockbuster starring Taylor Kitsch and Liam Neeson. And if you like this review, hit that subscribe button up there so you can get more reviews from me. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the other side.